Hey guys, Wet Movie One back here again for another Blu-ray DVD update video for you guys today. It's been about two weeks or so since my last one. I got a big old stack of goodies here to talk to you guys about today. I also got a package in the mail uh, from eBay because I've been going crazy getting stuff off eBay, you know, like bidding on things. This is not the exact box of what I'm going to show you at the end of the video, but uh, you know, because I ripped it open, the, you know, the day I got it. It was like two or three days ago. But uh, you know, make sure you guys check out. Stay tuned to the end of the video to see what I got from eBay but uh, let's get on to the very first movie here I got from Lionsgate and uh, that movie is The Hunger Games Mockingjay Part 1 here on Blu-ray and uh, it's one of those film franchises I kind of enjoy watching I'm not a, like a super big fan my sister's the one that kind of like drags me to the theater to, to watch these movies to be honest with you but uh, I, I, I kind of find it enjoyable and in this uh, sequel here it follows Katniss a couple weeks after the last film you know she's already been in The Hunger games you know two times already and in this one she's trying to take down the capital with you know with, with a group of her friends and you know just do what she has to do and uh, I, I thought this movie was kind of cool I didn't I didn't think they really needed to split the list last book of the Hunger Games franchise into two parts you know the you know movie companies kind of do that these days like the Twilight movies the last two Twilight movies were split up into two parts it's a money thing but hey you know they got to do what they got to do but I, I do I do I did find this movie uh, really, really enjoyable. Can't wait to see the final part of the Hunger Games franchise. But on this Blu-ray here, uh, you get an audio commentary track by the, you know, the director. You also get a nice tribute uh, to Philip Seymour Hoffman in here. And I think this was one of his last movies, if not his last movie. And you also get uh, deleted scenes and you know the the generic stuff that you usually get on these uh, Blu-rays here. But I, I gotta say, this movie looks awesome. You know, on in 1080p here. But if you're a fan of the Hunger Games movies, I just want to let you guys all know the Blu-ray is out. But uh, next up over here from Warner Brothers is a movie. At first, when I very when I saw it when it when it first came out on DVD, I I didn't like it very much because I didn't even want to see it in the theaters because I'm like I was just the biggest fan of the original film that came out. You know, was it like in the 70s or whatever it was. And this is right here the 10th anniversary of Charlie and the Chocolate Factory uh, here on Blu-ray. Because mine, my favorite one was Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. You know, from back in the day. Like I watched that one like crazy. You know what I mean? Like I, I the first time I ever watched that one was back in uh, elementary school when they you know they played it for us like on you know movie Fridays or whatever and uh, this one when it was coming out I, I always liked Tim Burton and things but it was one of those things I'm like why are you remaking a movie that I just love you know what I mean like real nostalgic to me and things like that but now that I watch it again this one again after all these years it's not as bad as I you know I remembered it being but this one is really kind of enjoyable. It's, you know, it's pretty much about, you know, Charlie, you know, Willy Wonka owns this chocolate factory and he wants to leave his chocolate factory to somebody. So he sends out a handful of golden tickets that are in, that are in his Wonka bars and whoever gets these golden tickets gets a, a tour of his factory. And it follows this little kid named Charlie that gets a, he's kind of poor, he gets a ticket and he gets to go on this, you know, wild adventure in this chocolate factory along with, you know, some other bratty kids and things. Um, I, I, I kind of enjoyed this one and on this blu-ray here you get all the original special features you did on the original dvd that came out years ago but the only the thing is that that kind of made me mad about this blu-ray is that the menu page when you when you try to search for the special features you can't see what you're clicking on you know what i mean there's not not a good icon to make you follow what you're trying to you know if, if you when you get this blu-ray you'll see what i'm talking about all the cool special features are there which is kind of hard to navigate through that menu page but uh like i said it's still not my favorite of the two but it's not as bad as I remembered it to be. And uh, next up over here from uh, 20th Century Fox is the very last season of a show. I, to be honest with you, I would have never thought I would have been so invested in the characters of. And that is uh, the Sons of Anarchy season seven or the final season here on Blu-ray. Uh, this season picks up a, a, like what was it like a couple days, a couple weeks after uh, the, the events of the of season six. Jax is still in jail and he's trying to figure out who killed his wife. And it's pretty much him just trying to figure out who you know who the people are that took his wife out in this season. And I, this show is just amazing to me. You know what I mean? Because I've never, I never would have thought in a million years I would have liked a show about a biker gang.
And uh, and I am. And I think the main reason I, I started watching the show is because Katie Seagal is in it. From Mary Rich Children to, you know, Peggy Bundy. And she was probably the one of the main reasons that made me, you know, tune into the show in the first place. Is to see her as a bad biker chick. You know, badass biker chick. But on this Blu-ray here, guys, you get over an hour of behind-the-scenes special features on here with interviews and stuff by the cast and crew. Like, really in-depth behind-the-scenes. Like, something I would have never expected to see on a television, you know, show Blu-ray. You also get, like, a special feature on here talking about tattoos and the motorcycles that they used in the show. Very, very entertaining stuff. Kind of sad that the, show, the show's over now, but, hey, show's got to end sometime. All the episodes look beautiful on Blu-ray. But if you're a fan of the show, I want to let you know that Season 7... Final season is out now on Blu-ray and DVD. Alright guys, and next up over here is Beyond the Lights here on Blu-ray. Uh, this movie is pretty much about this uh, young up-and-coming uh, R&B star na named Noni. Her, she's, she's about to break into the mainstream with her very first popular album. And like, you know, people are already going crazy about her and things like that. But yet, she's kind of you know, doesn't know how to handle the fame, right? And she's drunk one night, and she gets onto this balcony, and she looks like she wants to commit suicide and kill herself. But one of her bodyguards sees this about to happen and saves her life, and it's pretty much about the little relationship that they strike, you know, w with each other, and how they, they, how they, you know, try to deal with, uh, you know, with their relationship in the limelight of, you know, of her stardom. And uh, I thought this movie was okay. It kind of felt like one of those... Sort of kind of made for TV, you know, you know, movies that you would see on Lifetime or something like that. But it's it's made it's made uh, by the director from Love and Basketball. I always loved that movie, Love and Basketball. Same director. And but the thing is, in this movie, it's not amazing. But the chemistry between the two stars in the flick are are, are really good with one another. You know what I mean? The movie's kind of corny and it it takes forever for it to end. Kind of thing. Like it, it feels like the movie was going to end a couple times, but it kept going kind of thing but it was okay you know what I mean I like I kind of enjoy movies like this and the music in it was was good the whole vibe of the whole vibe of the movie is just kind of I don't know kind of kind of strange but on this blu-ray here you get the theatrical version and the director's cut version if this sounds interesting to you give it a give it a watch but it's one of those things one of those movies I don't think I'm gonna need to watch a whole bunch to be completely honest with you but that's beyond the lights here on blu-ray and uh, next up over here from Sony is a movie that was just really controversial. Everyone was talking about it. It was really getting overhyped, in my opinion. And sometimes when movies get overhyped, I'm like, do I even wa you know, want to watch it? Am I going to even like it? And it's one of those movies that when I watched it, I'm like, I enjoyed this. You know what I mean? It was the first movie in a long time that got really overhyped because of all the hacking that was going on with Sony and things like that. And that is the interview here on Blu-ray. And I gotta say, this movie was really kind of funny to me. It's pretty much about James Franco and Seth Rogen. Uh, James Franco is a host of this talk show that interviews like celebrities and talk, you know gossip kind of things about what they're doing in their lives until they find out that Kim, Kim Jong-un from North Korea is a big fan of the show and Seth Rogen and James Franco want to try to interview him on their show and in the meantime the US government finds out about it and you know, tells them, we want you to kill Kim Jong-un, you know, when you when you go down there to interview him. And it's just a craziness that ensues. And it was just really kind of over the top and funny, because I like these, you know, stoner comedies and stuff. But on this Blu-ray here, only on the Blu-ray, you get 90 minutes of special features that you don't get on the DVD, like gag reels, you know, laugh-o-rama that you always get. But to be honest, guys, this movie is really kind of funny. I enjoyed, I, I really did enjoy it. It's, it's stupid funny. You know what I mean? It's stoner comedy, stupid funny kind of thing. I know it's probably not going to be everyone's cup of tea, but uh, this one did stir up a lot of controversy. This, this Blu-ray is only like 10 bucks at Walmart. But uh, this is the interview here on Blu-ray. All right, guys, and next up from Sony is a very nostalgic movie for me. I've always loved it ever since I was a kid, and that is My Girl here on Blu-ray. Uh, this is this is movie's a coming-of-age story about this young girl named Veda, played by Anna Chomsky, who you guys all know from, like, Gold Diggers, The Secret of Bear Mountain, and things like that. And it takes place in 1972. She's kind of... She's a town boy in this small town. Her father's the town mortician, always, like, working on dead bodies and things. Her mother passed away when she was giving birth to her, and she she kind of always felt like, 
you know, it was her fault that her mother died. And she's, she's just going through all this weird, you know, these weird problems, coming of age things, until she meets this young boy played by Macaulay Culkin. And the movie just follows, like, follows them in this little, you know, in this little town in the summer of 1972 and the little stuff that they do there. And I, I've always really liked this movie. The sequel is even awesome, too. But this is one of the first movies I remember me watching, and I actually cried to it. You know what I mean? It's really kind of sad. I don't want to ruin it for you if you guys don't remember it, but it's really kind of sad of what happens in here. And it looks beautiful on Blu-ray. I believe it's the very first time it's been released in widescreen. Because my DVD I have of it is not in widescreen. It's always like the full screen version. And now it's in 1080p. Looks amazing on, on, on Blu-ray. A lot better than the DVD. It's one of those movies I watch multiple times so I can like tell the difference you know, of the, of, of the picture quality and things. But on this Blu-ray here, you get audio commentary tracks, you get a, the original featurette that was on the on the DVD years ago, theatrical trailer, and I think there's like four minutes of new behind the scenes footage that we never got before, which is just kind of random footage of stuff on the set. But it was it's just cool to get it anyway. You know what I mean? And if you're a fan of the movie, definitely upgrade the Blu-ray. You will you won't be disappointed in it. All right, and next up over here is Intruders here on DVD. Uh, this movie is pretty much about this young college girl named Rosie. Her and her father are moving into this new house together. This really creepy, kind of musty old house. And uh, as soon as they go in there, she starts, you know, hearing hearing noises and seeing doors open and close, you know, on their own. Until she finds out that the previous tenants of the house have mis mysteriously disappeared, and other crazy things have happened in this house before. And she's just trying to discover what happened in this house before was it the crazy neighbor across the street and things like that and this movie kind of sort of has the vibe of stir of echoes a little bit but not as good not as scary or anything like that it stars like tom sizemore plays like the creepy old neighbor that may or may not have you know made made these uh, this girl disappear because when this girl goes to this new house she's finding you know articles uh, you know, from these people that have passed, you know, that have disappeared or have passed away. She starts seeing like premonitions of things and she just kind of wants to know what happened in her house. And uh, it's just a craziness that ensues. It's just kind of just whatever, you know what I mean? Like, it didn't really impress me very much. It was shot very well, the acting is fine. It was just kind of a, a, a decent one time watch, something I don't think I would ever need to watch again, but that's Intruders here on uh, DVD. Sorry I couldn't really get more in depth on that one, it was just kind of, eh, you know what I mean? Alright guys, next up from Lionsgate is a movie called Captive here on Blu-ray starring Ryan Reynolds and Rosario Dawson. But in this movie, uh, uh, Ryan Reynolds and his wife, th their daughter gets kidnapped and it's them trying to figure out what happened to her, is she dead? Because it, the movie takes place a couple years after she, the daughter was kidnapped, their, relationships are, their relationship is kind of on the rocks. And they're just trying to figure out what's going on with their daughter, where, where their daughter is. Is she dead? Is she alive? And what, what's going on? And these detectives are trying, still trying to find her daughter. And uh, they come, to, you know, you come to find out that her daughter is still alive, and she, she's kind of part of this, you know, child, you know, kidnapping pornography kind of ring, and you know, and stuff like that. And they're just trying to find their daughter. And that's pretty much the synopsis of the movie. I don't know, really know how to explain it any more than that without ruining things for you. But I, f I found this one to be a decent suspense thriller. Rosario Dawson is pretty much good in anything she does. It's really kind of cool to see Ryan Reynolds do different roles in my opinion. I like him more as a comic actor but he, he is really good in these uh, dramatic, you know, roles. Because I've always liked him. What was it, like Van, Ry Van Wilder back in the day? Like all the, and waiting and stuff like that. But now he seems to be doing more serious, you know, kind of movies. And I like that. I like when actors can switch it up. You know what I mean? It's one of those kind of things. But if you see this out there, it's a very decent, you know, psychological thriller. That kind of really kept my interest. Because I didn't really know anything much about it until I got the Blu-ray. And it was actually really cool, in my opinion. It looks very nice on Blu-ray. But that's the captive here. And on this next one up right here, I, I just kind of knew it was going to be bad, you know, just 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 knowing it, it existed. And that is Green Street, Green Street Hooligans Underground. This is the third Green Street, Green Street Hooligans movie in the franchise. Uh, the first one, I believe, starred Elijah Wood back in the day, and the second one starred like 
Kane, I think, from you know WWE, and now this one stars Scott Atkins, who you guys all know from Ninja Two and stuff. He's a he's a cool you know B action star, and in this one he's a guy. He's living his life now. He moved away from his, his town that he lives in just to get away from the gang life because he was a gang leader. And now he finds out that his brother was murdered. And he's going back to his hometown to find out who killed his brother and get to get a gang back together to kick the people's butts that took out his brother. That's pretty much the synopsis of the movie. I was going into it just kind of knowing it was going to be bad, but hoping that the action sequences, the fight stuff was going to be good. And even that... Even the fight sequences in the movie were kind of just like, oh my god, you know, like slow motion punches and, you know, like, it, it just wasn't cut very well. The editing seemed kind of all over the place to me. Scott Atkins is a cool B, you know, key, a cool B, you know, action star. I like him. He kind of reminds me of, like, Sasha Mitchell from, like, the kickboxer movies back in the day, but, but, but for today. But, like, it's just kind of, ugh. Next up over here is, is a light and fluffy kind of movie, and that is The Dog Who Saved Easter here on DVD. Uh, it's, pretty, it's pretty much about this, uh, this girl who runs this little you know, doggy daycare out of her house, you know, just to make some extra cash, until the, a lady in the same town that's kind of mean, kind of just, you know, just evil. She has her own doggy daycare that she does. She locks up the dogs in cages and things until she finds out that this young girl is, is taking business away from her, from her own doggy daycare. And it's pretty much her trying to sabotage this young girl and, and her little business that she's trying to do and the craziness that ensues from there. In this movie, it stars Dean Cain and you also get the voice of Mario Lopez as the dog here, which is kind of cool, you know, known from Saved by the Bell. I thought this movie was alright, you know what I mean? It's one of those ones that's just, you know, this is kind of light and fluffy and, you know, you just don't have to really think much when you're watching it, you know? It's pretty decent, it's alright for the movie, for kind of movie that it is. And uh, this next one up right here is uh, called The Master, and uh, you guys all know I love martial art movies. This the story in this movie is just kind of whatever. It's about this guy who's learned, he's like a monk, he's learned his martial arts from his old master in this temple, and now he's, he's leaving the temple to go live his life, and, and as soon as he goes back to his hometown, he's finding out that his hometown has been wrecked. Like all these, you know, the foreigners are coming in and tearing it up and bringing in drugs into their town, and everyone one in the town is like hooked on opium and he's there to try to figure out how to stop this from happening and get his people back on the right track so he opens up this karate school and you know just tries to you know get, get his town back you know back on the right path and then, you know, then of course the bad guys find out about that and try to take him out and back and forth between the two I thought this movie was alright the fight scenes were decent you know st story is kind of stupid but like what do you expect when you watch you know kung fu movies for the most part you don't really expect real high you know story value, but uh, I thought it was kind of decent, you know, the, the acting was alright, the fight scenes were kind of cool, but uh, if you see it out there, you guys are into martial art movies, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a decent watch. Alright guys, and next up over here is a, a new horror film called The Devil May Call here on DVD. Uh, this movie is pretty much about this, this young lady named Sam, she's blind, and she works at the suicide hotline, where you know, people call in when they're having problems and they think they're going to kill themselves. And uh, she's been working there for a, l a long time, and she always gets, you know, this one guy who always w calls for like months and years now, and only, only wants to talk to her. You know, but come to find out that this guy that's been only calling for all this time has been kidnapping and killing women in his house. And until, the, until he finds out that the person that he's been calling at the suicide hotline is her last day on the job, and he kind of flips out about it and wants to go after her. Um, I found it to be a really decent kind of, you know, story, like not... It's not one of those ones, like a generic story that you get with horror movies these days. It's kind of like a fresh take on it. But at the same time, it wasn't really executed very well. It stars Tyler Maine as the, the main bad guy going after, you know, killing people. I think he's the guy that was in like the Halloween remakes that Rob Zombie made playing Michael Myers. Those, don't, I don't want to get into those movies. Those movies kind of make me mad. Um, I thought this movie was alright. It has a, a decent story to it, but... It just didn't. It didn't blow me away. You know what I mean? Like I was, I was intrigued, and I wa You know, I sat through the whole thing, but it was just kind of like a, like just kind of like, 
huh, all right, when it was over, you know what I mean? It didn't blow me away. And uh, this next one rep right here, I was kind of interested in seeing because like, I was kind of a fan of her music back in the day. And uh, this is called Aaliyah. Uh, the, the what's it called the princess of R and B on here on DVD. This is like a you know a musical biopic on Aaliyah, who you guys all know. She was in movies like Romeo Must Die and Queen of the Damned, and she died at the young age of 21, I believe, 21, 22, in in this in this plane crash. And uh, this movie just you know shows her life and how she grew up, sort of in the musical business. And her she had a uh, like Gladys Knight was like a family member of her, and how she you know just went on Star Search and and how she became the the singer and icon that she became. And uh, when I was watching this, I learned a lot more about the about the woman that I I never knew before. You know what I mean? Like I knew she died. I knew she 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 put out a, one or two albums that were actually really good. And it, she also put Missy Elliott and uh, Timberland on the map. The cool thing is about this uh, DVD here, it comes with like a, a sort of like a VH1 behind the music kind of uh, special features like 40 minutes long talking about the real Aaliyah and the people that knew her and stuff like that which I found a little bit more entertaining than the movie itself. You know what I mean? It's one of those ones that was like made for like Lifetime or something like that, like made for TV movie. Definitely give this a watch. It's, it, it is really entertaining and I learned a lot more about her that I didn't know before. But that's Aaliyah, the princess of R&B here on DVD. And this next one up from Magnolia. It was kind of cool. It's called Life Partners here on Blu-ray, starring uh, Adam Brody and everything. And it's about these two friends. They're both they're both about 29 years old. They've been friends for years and years. They're they're kind of stuck in their own ways. They're kind of acting like they're still teenagers. They're like playing jokes on each other, like hey, hey, bitch, you know, like like you know, it's like messing around with each other, and not really wanting to grow up until one of them meets some, you know, meets someone and gets in a relationship, and then the other one doesn't have that you know that's that friendship anymore the same feeling she had and it's just pretty much how these two friends deal with change you know it, it is it was really kind of a beautiful story had a nice heart to it and humor that I, I really I really did dig and it's kind of kind of touching to me because I'm kind of the same way you know what I mean like I'm I'm I'm, I'm in my you know I'm 30 and I kind of still act like I'm in my, in my my teens, you know what I mean? Like, my mindset's still the same and everything like that. And I kind of feel, you know, what, what these characters were going through and things like that. Like, if I was, you know, Gabriel met someone and got married and did his thing and was starting to act like more like an adult, I would feel kind of weird. You know what I mean? It's one of those kind of kind of movies, kind of situations. Had a great tone to it. If you guys love, like, coming-of-age kind of stories, you guys will really dig this one. And uh, next up over here is a movie I watched a, a few a few weeks ago. And it's a, I think it was like a German movie, a French movie, something like that. And it's called Force Mature here. Uh, it was really kind of a simple story. It's about this family going, you know, on this trip to these, like, you know, the ski slope and everything like that. Just, just to get away, to try to rekindle their relationship. And when they get there, they're out there with their family on, you know, on the patio eating lunch. Until they, this, this uh, avalanche happens. And the father runs away and doesn't try to save their kids or anything he just sort of like tries to save himself from the craziness that happened and ever since and after that you know the relationship just kind of you know slowly declines you know what I mean? Like the wife does not, is not sure if the husband even really cares that much about the family and things it was all right but it was just just okay it was kind of boring me a little bit the way the film the filmmaking style was in here kind of slow you know slowly moving slowly paced but I can't say it was horrible you know, but that's Force Mature here on DVD. But uh, next up over here from Millennium is a movie starring the, the, uh, El Pacino and Diane Wist. And that is The Humbling here on uh, Blu-ray. This In this movie, uh, Al Pacino plays this, this theater actor. He's kind of... You know, thinks he's like the fam the most famous guy in the world. He's he's been doing these plays for years, but yet he's kind of suicidal. He wants to kill himself. He's always o overly dramatic about everything until he uh, he meets this one young girl that he used to like babysit back in the day or watch back in the day. She's a, she's a lesbian, and they kind of strike up this relationship with one another, and, the, and then it's like the back and forth between the two. I'm not gonna lie, I thought this movie was kind of boring. You know, like, I I really couldn't get into it. It's directed by Barry Levinson. He's a great director, but this movie I just really couldn't get into. I like the acting, but just like the whole vibe of the movie just kind of like, I don't know, made me like just kind of want to turn it off, you know, kind of thing. And I don't like saying that because I really like the people that are involved in this. And I just, I just couldn't get into it at all, but that's the humbling here. I just really couldn't get into it, guys. And uh, next up over here from Welgo USA is a film 
that it kind of has the same sort of vibe as uh, Very Bad Things, but very, very cheap version of it. And that is called That's Kill Ward's Wife here on Blu-ray, starring like, uh, what's that name, Donald Faison, who you guys all know from Clueless and things. And um, it's pretty much about that Donald Faison and his wife. His wife is just like a pain in the ass. You know, she's always giving Ward no ends of shit. She's like the ultimate... You know, the ultimate, you know, pain in the ass to everyone. She's just kind of a bitch. And uh, everyone wants her dead. Until one day, one of Ward's friends kills his, kills his wife. And is them just trying to deal with what they're going to do and how they're going to dispose of her body and get away with the murder that just happened. It's, that's pretty much a synopsis of the movie. But it, it was trying to be, like, very bad things, but it just wasn't very funny. It didn't work for me. It felt like they shot this movie in maybe, like, three or four days or something. It just felt really cheap. I, I like Donald Faison and some of the actors in this movie, but I just really couldn't get into it, you know? It was just really kind of bad. And uh, next up over here from Wargo USA also, it's called Skating to New York here on Blu-ray. It's about these young kids who live in Canada, they're on this hockey team, and they're just kind of bored with their lives. They're kind of bored of small city living, and they decide one day to skate from, you know, Canada to, to New York you know, on this big ice slope because from, you know, from where they are, all, their lake is frozen over all the way to New York and they decide to, to skate there and it's their, their adventure along the way. Um, I found this movie to be kind of cool. It's kind of like a mixture between the movie Alive and uh, The Mighty Ducks a little bit, but not as cool as those movies. But it kind of has that mixture, if you guys know those movies. But uh, it was just all right. It had a nice look and feel to it. Didn't blow me away, but it wasn't, it wasn't bad either. But that's the Skating to New York here on Blue Rizzo. And uh, next up over here, uh, from Cinedime, it's called Innocence here on, uh, on Blu-ray. It's about this young girl going to this, like, all-girls school, you know, because her father's making her go there. And it's her, and it's what she experiences there. She goes there, she starts, like, sort of seeing things, and one girl kills herself you know, when she's at the school, and she, she's just kind of traumatized by it, and then she starts looking up the school, and all the craziness that's happened there in the past, and other girls that killed themselves, and it's just, and then her, you know, getting into a relationship with this guy, and just the craziness that happens at the school, I don't want to get into it, you know, about what happens, because it'll ruin it, but the ending, just didn't, it, it made the movie just bad to me, you know what I mean, like, I was expecting a lot more from it when the movie ended, like, some, like something, dun, dun, you know what I mean, but it just sort of ends, and you're, you're left going, what just happened, you know, kind of thing, but it was just one of those ones, the first half of the movie just had this vibe to it that I was really getting into, like, the, just the way it was being shot, and the music, and the everything, but then the second half of the film just really took this left turn, and I'm just like, I don't know if I care about what's going on anymore. But that's Innocence here on Blu-ray. All right, guys, next up is another dog movie, sort of, and it's called Zoe to the Max here on uh, DVD. It's about this young girl named Zoe. She's 13 years old. She's living with a foster family that can really give a, give you know give two shits about her. And she goes, she's going to school. She's getting picked on by these you know bullies in class. And so one day she gets into the car with one of them. And, you know, they, they rob a liquor store or steal something from this liquor store. And she runs away and kind of sort of goes on this weird adventure, you know, off on her own. Like, getting into, you know, big trucks and, like, going to different towns and people not knowing where she's at. And her foster family doesn't really care about her. And the craziness that ensues from there. Um, I thought this movie was okay. You know what I mean? Like, I really like the vibe. It's really low budget, really cheap. But I kind of liked it for a movie like this, when the girl, at least for the first half of the movie, when the girl's kind of like getting led around, you know, get, getting away from where she's at. I really liked that. It was really enjoyable. But like the bad guys and the dog napping stuff was just kind of stupid. But like, it, it is kind of enjoyable for one of those like, you know, weird kind of quirky, you know, straight to DVD kind of movies. It was enjoyable to me at least. And uh, next up over here is a show I heard about, but I've never seen until I, I got the DVD. And I was just kind of like, oh, I'll check this out. What the hell? And it's called Breaking Amish here, the Los Angeles on DVD. This is a show that was on the TLC network about a group of people that are living a Lam Amish lifestyle. And they're like young and just a handful of, like these handful of them are just sick of living it. They want to go to Los Angeles and see how it is to live, you know, with regular people out in, in regular life and they have the city and all this kind of stuff and it follows them and it's the, it follows them in Los Angeles and you know the culture shock that they go through and the different things that they have to come to learn what they are like you know like a microwave and you know like how people drink on the streets and how people act 
and how people dress and stuff like that. And it's just the way, you know, how they experience life now because they want, they want to change. They want to be able to, you know, uh, to go after their dreams because living the Amish lifestyle, a lot of their dreams they can't do. You know what I mean? They're kind of stuck in their own way. And on this DVD, you get all like what? 13 episodes of, of the season on here. It, it was really, it's really kind of enjoyable to be honest with you, at least the first handful of episodes. Then it, it gets kind of old and repetitive, and I know it's kind of probably fake and set up, but I kind of like the fact that people from the Amish country, you know, get taken out of their lives there, the ones that want to leave, and put into like the Los Angeles lifestyle. It was kind of, kind of entertaining, but that's Breaking Amish. And uh, last up here for my update today is from Arc Entertainment, that, and it's called Banksters. Yep. It's pretty much about these two young college students. Uh, they graduated college, but yet now they have the opportunity of a lifetime to work for this, you know, banking firm. And when they go, the, you know, one of them is kind of like a straight edge guy that wants to do right by everything, and the other one, the other friend, is kind of like the the outgoing, crazy kind of one, thinks he can rap and everything like that. And they're going into this, you know, the new banking firm to try to, you know, start their new lives and things until they find out that Alan Thicke's character, the main boss of, of, of this business, is going to be ripping off a lot of college students with this new plan that he has in place. And it's pretty much them two finding out about it and trying to stop them any way they know how without ruining their own lives. You know, and that's pretty much the basic synopsis of the movie. It was trying to be funny. It just wasn't really working for me. And I was watching going, why is Alan Thicke in this? I haven't seen him do anything in a long time. I don't know. I, I wanted to like it because I like, you know, low-budget comedies, you know, if they're done well. It wasn't horrible, but I wasn't laughing at it whatsoever. You know what I mean? I was just kind of like, all right, it's just going along. You know, it didn't, I don't know, it didn't feel like there was a whole lot of effort put behind it. But that's uh, Banksters here on DVD. All right, guys, that's all I have to show you guys today for my Blu-ray DVD update video today. But guys, let's go downstairs and I'll show you what I got from eBay the other day. I was excited to get it, but let's go down there. Alright guys, on to the unboxing part of this video here. Um, I got this in the mail, and uh, I just wanted to crack it open. It's in this weird kind of, like, paper, you know, packaging kind of thing. Like, it's just got wrapped in, like, a paper bag or something. But I know what it is, because it's something I ordered off of eBay. Time to unbubble this and see what's in here. It's all, like, taped up, so I have to, like, be careful with this a little bit. So, let's, let's see. Like I got the trusty scissors here, and someone in the last in the last video when I unboxed the the last set I got, uh, someone was like, "Brandon, why don't you have like a trusty knife or something?" I'm like, "I don't know." Help brother out here, come on! Help brother out here. Hopefully this thing is in good condition, because the guy said on eBay, uh, you know, it was you know in perfect working condition. Uh, as you guys can tell, it's all wrapped in like <laughs> bubble wrap in there. Here we go. Oh yeah. Ooh. Looks pretty. Oh yeah. God, look at all this, man. Look how messy this is. Look at all that. But that is uh, the WrestleMania complete anthology here on DVD. Uh, this is from years uh, 1985 to 2006. Of course, there's been WrestleMania since then. And as you as you guys all know from my last uh, Blu-ray update video, I unbubbled the uh, SummerSlam uh, DVD set. Which I thought this was going to come together at the same time. Two different sellers, but the estimated, you know, arrival date was about the same. So I thought I was going to have it in enough time for the video, but was not. And the guy said it was in uh, pretty good condition. It's only like, has like a little mush mark on uh, one corner, one edge there. But that's, what what else could happen? But it is looks kind of cool. You open this up and it has all the different, you know, uh, volumes in there that were sold separately at one time, I believe. But I, I can't wait to crack into this, man. I've always kind of wanted this set because it looks, looks pretty, in my opinion. But hey, I got it now, and that's all that matters. But guys, that's all I have for this unbubbling part of the video. And if this is the end of the update, or end of whatever, thanks guys for watching, and I'll see you next time. Oh, and for the people that uh, comment on my last uh, update video saying, Brendan, why'd you buy SummerSlam? You know, you can watch it on the WWE Network. Uh... Don't feel like paying $10, $10 a month to watch the WWE Network. I know it was like free for a month, but eh, who cares? You know what I mean? You still have to shell out 10 bucks a month and everything like that. And who knows how long it'll take me to actually watch everything I want to see on there. But uh, I just like owning things. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm, it's just a collector in me that just wants the physical format in my collection. Which I know a lot of you guys out there are like, physical format? Ugh. You know what I mean? This, for some of you guys that just like download stuff offline or stream stuff. That's not my bag, baby. It's all about physical media. Thanks for watching.